Tiffin, Ohio. Tiffin is a city in and the county seat of Seneca County, Ohio, United States. Tiffin is about 55 miles southeast of Toledo. The population was 17,963 at the 2010 census. The National Arbor Day Foundation has designated Tiffin as a tree city USA. It is the home of Heidelberg University and Tiffin University. At one time it was noted as a glass and porcelain manufacturing center. Tiffin is home to several elementary schools, Tiffin Middle School, Calvert Catholic Schools, and Columbian High School. The history of Tiffin dates back to 1812. The familiar bronze statue of the Indian Maiden on Frost Parkway, near Miami Street, marks the site of Fort Ball, a military depot of the War of 1812. Fighting an engagement of that war, Erastus Bo first sighted the location upon which Tiffin now stands. In 1817, he returned to the site and built his Pan Yam Tavern, which later became a stagecoach stop on the North Sandusky River. Early homesteaders followed soon after Bo, and the settlement of Oakley sprang up around the Pan Yam. The main traveled road of the area followed the path of the stagecoaches through Oakley, which was called Fort Ball after 1824. In 1821, Josiah Hedges purchased a piece of land on the south bank of the river opposite Oakley and founded another settlement. He named this village Tiffin in honor of Edward Tiffin, first governor of Ohio and later member of the United States Senate, and a man who had fought to finally win statehood for the Ohio Territory in 1803. Tiffin was incorporated by an act of the Ohio legislature on March 7, 1835. These two communities, split by the Sandusky River, were rivals, however, in 1850, seeing that later their interests lay together, the villages merged to form Tiffin, with Fort Ball becoming a part of Tiffin in March of that year. In 1824, with the establishment of Seneca County by the Ohio legislature, Tiffin became a county seat. The county took its name from the Seneca Indians, who originally were native to the territory. The discovery of natural gas in the vicinity in 1888 gave new momentum to the city's industries, new enterprise located in Tiffin making it a prosperous industrial city. Since the late 1970s, the city has lost industry. In the spring of 1913, the Upper Mississippi and Ohio River Valleys were ravaged by one of the most devastating floods in the region's history. Among those communities which suffered the consequences of that flood was Tiffin, located on the Sandusky River in northwest Ohio. During that three-day period, Tiffin sustained more than $1 million in property loss. 46 houses and two factories swept away, 10 factories damaged, 69 places of business heavily damaged, 6 bridges within the corporate limits destroyed, and, worst of all, 19 lives lost. Tiffin has been the home of Balrikes Brothers, a potato chip company, since 1920. While the company's retail market is northern Ohio, its products have acquired a reputation that extends far beyond its local retail market and are available for shipping anywhere via the company's website. Tiffin St. Paul's United Methodist Church was the first church in the world to be lit by Edison's light bulb, and the first public building in the United States to be wired for electricity. Tiffin is home to a large population of German Americans. In 1970 Tiffin's highest population was 21,896. Tiffin is the home of the historic Ritz Theater, built in 1928 as a vaudeville house with an Italian Renaissance design. The Ritz Theater underwent extensive renovation and restoration in 1998. In 2002, a F3 tornado hit southeast Tiffin, destroying several homes outside city limits. A new Mercy Hospital of Tiffin was built and opened in July 2008. Republican Aaron Demonts, Tiffin's second ward councilman, was elected mayor of Tiffin on November 8, 2011. He defeated his Democratic opponent, Kenneth Gayato. Tiffin is located at 41.116834, minus 83.179003. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and is water. The Sandusky River flows through the center of the city. It is located on U.S. Route 224. As of the census of 2010, there were 17,963 people, 7,086 households, and 4,115 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 8,007 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 93.9% white, 2.6% African American, 0.2% Native American, 1.0% Asian, 
0.7% from other races, and 1.6% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3.1% of the population. There were 7,086 households of which 27.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 41.0% were married couples living together, 12.2% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.9% had a male householder with no wife present, and 41.9% were non-families. 34.3% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.4% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.29 and the average family size was 2.91. The median age in the city was 35.2 years. 20.7% of residents were under the age of 18, 17.4% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 21.5% were from 25 to 44. 24.6% were from 45 to 64, and 15.8% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48.9% male and 51.1% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 18,135 people, 11,330 households, and 9,471 families residing in the city. The population density was 10,792.4 slash me squared, people per square mile, 11,078.9 per square kilometer. There were 17,862 housing units at an average density of 11,210.6 per square mile, 467.7 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 96.3% white, 1.5% African American, 0.2% Native American, half a percent Asian. 0.0% Pacific Islander, 0.6% from other races, and 1.00% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.1% of the population. There were 11,330 households out of which 32.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 46.2% were married couples living together, 11.1% had a female householder with no husband present and 39.0% were non-families. 32.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.31 and the average family size was 2.92. In the city the population was spread out with 22.3% under the age of 18, 15.1% from 18 to 24, 25.9% from 25 to 44, 20.9% from 45 to 64, and 15.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 95.7 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 92.6 males. The median income for a household in the city was $33,261, and the median income for a family was $41,329. Males had a median income of $31,207 versus $22,259 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,580. About 5.7% of families and about 11.1% of the population were below the poverty line, including 9.4% of those under age 18 and 8.9% of those age 65 or over. Tiffin is served by Tiffin City Schools, Columbian High School. Tiffin Middle School, and C.A. Kraut, Noble, and Washington Elementary Schools. Tiffin is also served by the Calvert Catholic Schools, Calvert High School for grades 7 to 12, and one campus school, Calvert Elementary, for preschool through grade 6. Other schools in Tiffin include the Sentinel Career Center, one of two charter schools, Bridges Community Academy, and North Central Academy. Tiffin is the home of Tiffin University, Heidelberg University, the Tiffin Academy of Hair Design, and formerly of the American Institute of Massotherapy. Tiffin also has two Catholic churches. St. Mary's Catholic Church, originally started with primarily Irish and Italian immigrants, has a cathedral appearance and stained glass windows. It once had a school and continues to host the annual St. Mary's Catholic Church Fair. St. Joseph's Catholic Church, the tallest and one of the oldest churches in Tiffin, was originally started with primarily German immigrants. Tiffin has the county's only lending library, 
Tiffin Seneca Public Library. Mayor, Aaron D. Mons, R. City Administrator, Deborah A. Reamer. City Council President, Mark Hayes, D. Chief of Police, Fred W. Stevens. Fire Chief, Kevin V. Ledian. Municipal Court Judge, Mark Rep. R. Director of Public Works, Michael Hoffman. Tiffin has one airport, Seneca County Airport, K16G. Tiffin also has three reliable taxi services. Tiffin is currently on five state routes, as well as U.S. Route 224, which skirts the city's southern edge. Tiffin is located on the southern terminus of Northern Ohio and Western Railway. CSX operates a busy line that travels east and west through the city. The city is still a very busy rail hub for CSX because of its closeness to CSX's Willard Yard on the Iron Triangle in Fostoria. Tiffin is served by the Advertiser Tribune, and it has five radio stations, 1,600 WTTFAM, 103.7 WCKYFM, 103.3 WSJGLP St. John Paul the Great Radio, 93.3 Cool FM, and WTSC Seneca County Radio.com. It is also served by its local news-slash-sports-slash-entertainment channel, NTF, Channel 21 on cable and is currently not carried by Direct TV or Dish Network. The Tiffin Saints were part of the independent baseball league that played an abbreviated single season at the Heidelberg University baseball field in 2014. The Saints were Tiffin's first professional baseball team since the Tiffin Mud Hens played in the Ohio State League from 1936-41. The Tiffin Mud Hens won the OSL championship in 1936. The Saints and IBL, which initially began with six teams, folded before the end of the inaugural season due to financial woes and controversy over whether or not the players were paid. The Adrian Pioneers beat the Ohio Travelers to win the shortened IBL season. Tiffin is also home to the Tiffin Cross Country Carnival, a large-scale high school cross country meet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.